all mighty knife, okay, or called the chi knife. Now you learn to extension the power into the knife, okay. And the first thing you have to learn, you you only use a little bit only, okay. Only this much only, okay. The edge. Uh, also, I, I use I, I like this uh, sliding knife because you don't use it, you can take it in. But remember, don't put it in your pocket and get into the air of air into airplane. Okay. <laughs> They stop you, and they will confiscate you, and you lost the chi knife. <laughs> but don't worry, come back again and charge for you. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, chi knife, um, you practice every day with it. You really can feel that this is your extension of knife, your extension of chi. Now there are crystal and chi knife. Chi knife, when you project the chi into the knife, it's like, um, it's like I think cutting it, okay? And oftentimes in our defense system is, in our defense system is that uh, we're still fighting the old, old war. So the, um, the bacteria, the viruses, and uh, all these things, they still learn how to build wall, okay? Like tumor, like cyst, they build up a wall. That means our defense system cannot break through it. Okay? They cannot break through it. And I don't know, they don't develop a cannon, okay? They don't develop a cannon or anything to break the wall, okay? So they still cannot do anything. So a cyst, it keep on growing. So they discovered that if we can project a chi knife, and when you cut into it, you can actually penetrate it, okay? And that is why the chi knife are so powerful. Anything, anything you want. So we call almighty knife. Any problem you have, your eye problem, your eye problem, your brain problem, you can do them all. Because chi knife, have the power to penetrate to it, okay? And it's your chi, so it don't hurt ourselves, okay? But it's bacteria or the thing not right, it break through it, okay? It seems like our chi has intelligence. They have intelligence, and they know what to do, okay? So that's what the chi knife are. So um, everything around us, the chi, so if you understand it, you're taking the chi, and you can use that. So the theory is the same. If you counterclockwise, and take it out. And you hold the chi, you think that the chi, you project the chi, they come into here, and you charge. When you charge the chi now, you only charge, you only charge your, your hand only. Okay, that's it. You don't need much. Okay? What good about charging your hand or only your arm, um, because even you are in the distance, you still pick up sick energy. Okay? Like when I do, you get rid of it, and they jump right to you. See? So, but as long as you have a lot of chi, or if you charge this much, if it jump onto you, you can charge again. When you charge the chi in the bone, it radiates out, the sick energy is jump out, they jump out, they jump out, like that. Okay? But if you don't do that, if you don't do that, if you charge your whole body and you think you have a lot of chi, so you use it up, when the sick energy jump on you, it goes into your organ. And it goes into your bone. And that, the, those things are hard to get out, get rid of it. Okay? Those things get out. And it's not, it's not showing one day. It's not showing one day. It's accumulate day after day, a lot of sick energy accumulate, and that the time you get, you get a lot of trouble. Okay? So learn how to get rid of the sick energy is the most important thing than learn how to heal. Why? If you do, the, if you do other people healing, and you want, oh, oh, I want him to be better, but 
you forget yourself. Okay? You get sick. So it's no use to help some other people and you get sick. We've been taught to be a dead hero, but the Daos like to be a life hero. Okay? We don't want to get sick ourselves by helping other people. We want to get healthier by helping other people. Okay? That's why our world, sometimes we have a different concept. And some of the concepts make us very sick. Huh? So, so the chi knife. Now, the chi knife is very important part to understand. There are so many chi around us. So you're taking the chi. Okay? So the chi knife we're using, it can do everything. Okay? And uh, the one thing we want to try is the cutting in the eye. Okay? So think your eye like this, your eye, you can, whatever you see is not all the eye yet. So the eye is bigger than what you see. Okay, the eye is bigger than what you see. Okay? So when you cut, you get close, always about three centimeters apart, about like this. Very important part is about here. And sometimes we use your hand to be leveraged, okay? And uh, about here. And you cut. When you cut, you like a slider. Slide them very detail. Slide very, very detail. So you cut half and you slide 50 times. And you cut half and you slide 50 times. You slide. And after that, you cut this way. Okay, and you. Now it's really help improve the eye, and um, and uh, uh, when you have very large chi, you really feel like it cut right through your eye. Okay, it cut right through your eye, and um, and uh, it break down all the what we call by uh, build up. The eye eventually not good because it's settlement and hardening, and everything is don't move, and that's what causing the eye problem, okay? When you do the eye, now, after that, if you learn how to use the eye, you can do it with any part, any problem with the brain, headache, any problem with the cyst, any problem with the heart also, okay? And, um, and actually, this is like a psychic surgery. Uh, this is you are, your mind, your chi, your belief, it make it happen. And, but the actual fact, you really see, feel that the chi is go right to it. But in a um, very sharp night chi, so it penetrate right to it. So the sickness, disease, germ, and bacteria don't like them. They don't like it. Okay? Because um, our own energy, like when you do the meditation, when you feel the chi come in, and if you have any sickness or pain, the chi will go to that area <clears throat> and make a healing. And oftentimes, people have very, very pain. So the pain, when the chi goes to attacking the problem, there are pain, you have to go through the pain. So, so the healing, all the problem you have in this kind of practice, like the chi ne chang one, chi ne chang two, cosmic healing, you go through a natural way of healing. It go into correct the problem, the root problem. So we are looking for another way of solving problem. Okay, we call a fast way. So you have pain. So what do you do? You take a painkiller. Okay, that's all. So you take a painkiller. Oh, so good! Immediately, no more pain. Okay. But after that, what happened? For an hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours, what happened? Five hours? It pain again. And actually, the pain getting worse because you try to numb the nerve and you try to tell the, make the nerve don't even pay attention to it. So if we numb enough nerve, what happened after that? You don't feel the pain. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that 
you have no more pain, right? It doesn't mean that you don't have no more pain. The pain is there and getting worse. Now, when you started to do all this kind of practice and healing, the first thing, you re-establish the pain back again. Because it fight. The chi go in and fight what is not right there. So you are in a war. When in the war, they are killing each other. They are destroying each other. Okay? They are killing each other and they destroy each other. Until one side win and the pain gradually goes down. So um, you have to always address some kind of what we call by healing crisis. Okay? If you don't want to have to be healing crisis, take a painkiller. There is no more healing crisis. But in one day, when the system keeps on telling us until we cannot, the body cannot take it again, it breaks out. And there is a big, big problem coming. So a lot of people come to, like, like come to do uh, this thing to us. Oh, I don't have pain before. <laughs> okay? And after they're doing this kind of practice or doing the healing, and they suddenly have more pain. So I, I ask them again, do you have pain before that? Yes. And I don't feel a long time already. So, that is the, the question. Because when you get painkiller until one level, the body don't know how to tell you anymore. When they are pain, they tell you, hey, something wrong. You get that? So um, after that, you can cut anywhere. If you have a wound, you cut it. And it meant it's stitching, it likes stitching the wound. Stop the blood. If you want, so if you want, uh, there are two. One is channeling. One is channeling the, um, a cold, cold cut. Okay, one is hot cut. <laughs> but you're going to end up with a lot of cold cut. Okay? So any problem, any disease, anything, use cold cut. Okay? Now, now the West discovered if they want to slice something very thin, they freeze them. Okay? And you can so thin. So it's called cold cut. <laughs> um, it can be nearly everything. Anything you want, do it. So in this part, you don't have to learn anything. Any problem, cut it. Only you have to do is you use cold cut, it don't work, you use hot cut. <laughs> okay. So with your hot, uh, you only have to understand it that pain, inflammation, bleeding, germ, virus, disease, you all use cold cut. Cold. Hot cut, I don't see much of it. Cold cut, as I say that, pain. You don't use hot cut. It gets more pain. Information, you have to use cold cut because it's very hot already. So you use hot cut to cut the information, you get more pain. Okay? Bacteria, and viruses, they don't like cold. Cold cut, they go right to their body. Okay? And they are pain, cold cut. That's all. So, <laughs> most of them is pain, infection, inflammation, bacteria, virus, mold, you all your cold cut. Chi knife that is formed from our own chi. Okay? Unless you have bad intention. Okay. So a lot of things sometimes is in a while with good intention and bad intention. See? So uh, if somebody you want to heal somebody and you have bad intention, you can't bring bad thing there. Okay. But our chi when you put good intention with it, uh, our chi will not harm our own cells. That's how it works that way. Our blood, if you get the right blood in, it helps. You let the wrong blood in, 
we die. Mm -hmm. So that's why the that's why the blood is very important. That means the old type person can give everybody, but the A type person cannot give to other people. They die. You no. Know? So the same kind of energy, we have the same kind of energy. The the we can everybody have the same kind of energy, but everybody maybe has different type of blood. So the chi have more intelligence to know what is it. Unless you don't have good intention. When you charge the energy and you don't have good intention, you project the negative energy to in go into the people. And that's what we call a psychic. Black, a black magic. Okay? Black magic, that's it. That's all. If they make, they make a, a doll and it's put the name down and the intention down and use a nail and intention, bad intention, it works. Okay? So those people have to train their mind with very bad intention and they always have to do killing something. They have to kill a chicken, killing something. So when they kill, they have very bad intention, and they kill. And when they get a nail and, bat, and hit on the, on the door with a bad intention, and you know the name and the face of the person, it's the same thing you're doing here. What I'm teaching you is a white magic. Okay? And when you get this, you protect yourself. You protect your power to protect it. Black magic cannot do harm to you. Okay, and the white magic, black magic, is the same thing that what you learn here. But they start with killing first. In olden time, a Mao San Dao is the same Dao, but in a black magic one. First thing, you want to enter in the system, you kill people. Kill one person first. You have to kill. If you don't kill, you cannot enter the system. Because that is a black magic. You start with killing and you start with harming. And that is the bad, bad intention, bad energy. I want to harm. And if they hold your image, if they know your birthday, everything, your image, your birthday, everything, when they have all information and they project it to you and they get a bad thought, and get a nail punch on you, you're gone. Intention. Intention. Because you pick up, you have to pick up your frequency. You pick up your frequency and it send a bad intention to you, you receive it. If you are weak, attack you right away. You see? If you're strong, they cannot attack you. So that's why when you learn all these things with a heart, Ready now, love, appreciation. You also you already have a very strong defense system. Okay. Okay, we're gonna charge your knife first. And you use very little only, you don't need much. And uh, you can projecting the chi through the you can projecting the chi out. Okay. And um I use I use this because it's very good to Put the pocket. You can use for anything. But when I chart your knife, you need to practice at least 40 days. The water also. You need to practice 40 days. And the way to do is do it. <laughs> That's all. Do it. Well, anytime you want to drink anything, just get the force. Hold the hand. And the faster you do, the better. Now, if you have somebody not feel well in your house, you charge the holy water and you let them drink. Okay? It's very important, you have to do it. And when you give to the people and they drink and they say, oh, they feel good. You know? Children is very strict. Okay? Children, you don't feel well, you do the holy water, let them drink, and they feel good. Because children don't tell you a lie. That's all. Okay? And you go on like that with your family, with your friend, with the people. You build up your energy. And the chi nai also, do it yourself, do it in anybody. 
it don't cost you much anything, right? Only cost you maybe a little bit energy to raise your knife up, you know. <laughs> or cost you some energy to cut like this, you know. You need energy sometimes you cut it, you know. <laughs> That's it. But the universe is free. So you keep on charging. So remember, free charge. It's very good. Always charge. Whenever you need free charge, it charge there. Okay? If you don't charge your energy, your energy is too low. And you're no use to anybody. Okay? So we're going to, so we're going to get the chinai up, and you're going to be use the same symbol. Uh, so you heaven and earth, we did just last night, nine times, one, two, three, four, five. So you spiral like this, nine times, and reverse, and spiral, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, again. It's just like nine heaven. Okay? Nine circle. One circle, two circle, three circle, four circle, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Down, reverse one, small, from small. One, two, three, four, five. And feel the heaven and earth force coming down. A very small movement. One here, from here. Okay? One. So you hold your pen first thing, hold your hold your knife like you're holding a pen. Hold your knife like you're holding a pen. Okay? Like this. You're gonna write something. Okay? This position is very powerful. Your three finger are contract. Your three fingers are holding the knife. So these are three very powerful fingers. And you're projecting the chi. My eye heart go right through it. Is this. You project it now. It's a heaven is nine and the earth is five. The number. Nine and five. Okay. So um and after that you hold it. Don't get too high like this. You cannot hold too long. Okay? Just relax. You clockwise first nine times. And you make loud and you counterclockwise from small to big five times. Okay? And you hold your knife and you focus on your, on your, on your knife. And you charge and think your finger and hand are charging and I'm going to charge you. I'm going to charge your knife one by one, okay? And after that, we're going to put it down. And you just focus on the chi knife, okay? And you have to practice every day. Just ask the power. Ask. Ask the power. Give me the power. Okay? Ask. And always connect. If you do every day, 40 days, you have a very good chi knife. And use it. You don't use it, you lose it. That's all. You don't use it, you lose the, the, the power. Love, joy, happiness. Feel your Tan Tian warm and Chi coming out. When you feel Tan Tian warm, the Chi will automatically run to the palm and go into the Chi knife. Three mind into one mind. And really from the heart and the team, the spirit and soul, focus into the knife. Focus. Your mind, I heart, soul and spirit, focus on the knife. Put everything attention to the knife. Putting every attention into the knife. Breathing. And you feel that you started to breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale through the knife.
Now raise your knife up. And just aware knife and your hand, only the hand. Okay, up to the wrist. Okay. Feel is very, very big, extended to the universe. And we started to write clockwise. One, two, very small moon, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, down, counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it there. Close your eye, focus on the knife. Picture your knife very big and your finger very, very long, extended to the heaven. And you're breathing together with the primordial. Inhale, exhale. Your knife and your finger are breathing together with the primordial breath. Very, very big. Your knife so big, so big, extended to the heaven, connecting with the primordial. Your finger lie a very high peak of mountain, extended to the heaven. Charge the chi to your finger and your palm. Bring it down and breathing. Feel the knife, the chi knife become part of you now. And um very strongly recommend don't lose them. <laughs> okay? Don't lose them because you're charging and you're working with your chi and you're doing every day. You have to work every day. Charge, working with it, and cut it. Whatever you have problem, you want no problem, do it. You know? Breathing. Inhale, exhale through your knife. Breathing, inhale, exhale through your knife. 
very important part feel the chi night become part of you. And you, when you do this right, it don't drain you, and you have more power all the time. But if you use your own chi to heal, you're draining yourself too much. Okay? So always, three mind to one mind, make the chi night become part of you. Chart the chi. Oh, the command. I forget to give the command. The command is, um, so they do together, the command. Power comes from the cosmos. This chi knife have the power to destroy all the negative, all the sickness and bad fortune. By my request, please carry out the order now. Okay, moving your knife. Okay, moving your knife. Okay, by my request, please carry out the order now. Okay. You give a command, okay, again. Power comes from the cosmos. Uh, this chi knife, or sometimes we, some people don't like the word almighty knife <laughs> because they don't like to do, because we use too much word of the almighty God, you know, <laughs> okay. And sometimes people don't like the word destroy, you know. But um, the world of bacteria and germ, they either destroy you or you destroy them. It's only two things. So compassion is what? You compassion with the bacteria? It's okay. I give you one small room to live, you know. You just stay in over there, okay? Don't move around, okay? <laughs> and they don't listen to you. They eat you one part, they eat your whole body. <laughs> so there are no compassion for that. You know? So love and compassion is one thing. Destroy the enemy is one thing. That's how the Tao there. So that's why you see the Tao, they have knife, they have sword, they are, they are fighting, they are everything. But they always say, we hope we never use them. <laughs> okay? We hope we never use them. Okay? Again, focus. Smile. And picture your chin eye very big. Your finger very big. Very, very big, very, very big. Your finger bone are hollow. It pack and compress the chi in the universe, a cold cut. You can think about ice, Himalayas, okay? All full with ice, cold, cold cut. And command. Power comes from the cosmos. Almighty knife has the power to destroy all the sickness, all the negative, all the bad fortune. By my request, by my request, Paro, please carry out the order now. Okay. By my request, please carry out the order now. Now, by my request, please carry out the order now. Okay. The, when you have trust and believe, you get it. Okay. This is very important. Okay. So you get the power. And when you do, when you excel, when you cut, excel. You feel the, the chi that you chart, you excel. It go out. Okay. Okay. So the first thing, we use the eye. Okay. You see? You open the eye. I mean, if you can get the eye, the rest is no problem. Okay. So some people are afraid of the eye, you know. So you put it, you hold it very close to you, and you go like this, and you cut. Look at, look at the knife. Yeah, look at the knife. Now, if you feel you pick up something, spiral. Now, when you do chin knife, you pick up a lot of things. Because it's very sharp, you go in and you pick up, you feel itchy. You take it out. Sometimes it's itchy, sometimes it's bite, sometimes it's rash. Okay? But you only allow them on the skin. 
and you put it down, spiral, and turn there, and send the chi burning them, burning them out. And when you charge again, take a second charge. When you feel your finger hot and warm, they jump out. You feel it, like a flick, they jump out. So you have to practice until that way. Because if you have chi in a the bone, they cannot stay with you. Okay? Protect your finger hot, charge. Okay. And close your eye. And you do the other eye. You open the eye so you don't bring out your eye. Don't bring out your eye. Oh, yeah. So you see that when you go to Hawaii, you can feel the energy go right into the eye. Okay? Now, if they have any problem with the, the, the brain, you can cut it in. Charge the chi. Any, any organs, you can cut any organs. Okay? First of all, the, the liver, you focus on the liver, picture the liver. Project and see, picture the liver and you cut it. Okay. And um, now, for bad fortune and the sick uh, karma. A karma, bad fortune, uh, bad karma. Okay, this is so powerful. Okay, you cut through the whole body. Okay, and you go because this thing. If you give a command that you go into the cell and clean out all the bad DNA, bad RNA, you clean them out, and. Uh, sometimes, you know, like when, when I check the aura, the people have very bad aura, okay, very bad, okay? Have hole and hole in there. So you cut them. And cut them again. Very detailed. And cut them. And um, you can check the aura. Before you check and after you check, the aura is all men. The one that open is all men. And a lot of karma. Sometimes you need few time because it's go deep into the cell. Because you, you focus on the cell and you, fo- and you give the command, you cut right into the cells. And you're going to get rid of a lot of bad karma and a lot of bad memory because it attached on us and causing a lot of we call bad fortune. Okay? So this one is very powerful. And we check by the aura machine. Before and after, it big changes also. Okay, you can see that the aura changes, and um, like like cyst. So you focus. If you know area, you focus. You see them. Sometimes 
when you open the dirt, you see very cloudy. And you cut it, cut it, spiral down to the ground. Okay, you cut it, and you spiral down to the ground. And remember charting. Okay? If you don't chart, free chart, you don't chart, you, you end up reducing your own energy. Okay? So, so in this session, you ask the people what the problem you like to do. So you do it for them, the chi knife. Okay? You feel them, you start to see them, and you feel them is clear and cut and open. The body is a very interesting when you, for example, we have seeds. If you use a chi knife, cut it, and you, you, you break it open, our soldiers can go in their hole and attack them. Because it's a, it's a fortress, a fortress, okay? a castle, a wall. Our, bar, our defense system cannot do anything to them. So if you can do it persistently, it's getting smaller and smaller. Because our, if you cut a hole, the body can go in, they attack them. Uh, we have a very powerful and strong aura, and no, uh, I mean, defend very strong defense system aura also. Aura is very important, you know. When you study to get aura in the Chinese, we always talking about wei qi, a protecting qi, a wei qi. Okay, you can feel it. You can feel it. You no, know? it's quite big, and it's thick and good. Now. All these bacteria are airborne because they're very light, so light. And they go, they have no leg. They are one single cell and so small and so light, and they flow in the space. Okay? And um, when, when we have a hole in the aura, they go in and they attach. But when you have very strong aura with qi, so that's why when you practice qigong, you feel the qi come out, and you feel it. When you very calm, relax, and you expand your aura, when somebody, so when people at you, I expand my aura first. <laughs> expand my aura. When they hit my aura, it go out. And you feel it. You just hit your aura, and you, 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 you train your aura, have feeling. And you feel that the bacteria, they come in. So that's why in the Chinese, in the Dao, we always call Wei Qi, protecting Qi. You must have the protecting chi, and you're getting from the organ stronger, and it come out strong. Protecting chi, okay? When you have protecting chi, the bacteria airborne, when they hit this aura, it's very light, it go out. Because it cannot get to you. It's a lot of things you really feel that, hey, I should, I'm not going to get sick. That's the first thing, your mind. And you tell the cells, you're not going to get sick. <laughs> your training camp must open. You know, massage yourself. Okay, very important. No, so important. If you have tension, digestion not good, liver don't work well, so more intestine don't work, last intestine don't work, you get big trouble. Okay? Raise your knife, charge the fire, hold it like a pen, hold it like you're holding a pen, pencil. Hold it like you're holding a pencil. I tell you, writing is very powerful. Okay? The word that we write is very powerful. It can help people, it can kill people, and you can kill people. That is very powerful. Project your knife very big, your arm very big, and your finger very big. Now, activate the force. Heaven, night time, cock clockwise, one. To night time. And the earth five time. Cow from small to big, small one, two, three.
three, four, five. Keep the command. Power come from the cosmos. This almighty knife has the power to destroy all the negative, all the sickness and bad fortune. Make a cross by my request. Sparrow, please carry out the order now. Three times, yourself. Okay. Now, your finger open the eye, and you you away from about three to four centimeter, one and a half inches. Okay, your eye open uh, open the uh, make the iris open so you don't bring out the eye. Project inhale when you exhale you cutting 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 exhale cutting. And inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, 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 exhale. If you feel you pick up sick energy or you lower in your energy, spiral down to the earth and charge. Second, charge, charge. Charge your chi. When you want to take it out, you spiral. Remember three to four centimeters apart. And hold is so close to you. Hold is very close to you. Hold like you are holding a pen. Charge. Coming down again. And spiral. And you finish one side. Tell the people to close the eye for a moment. And you work on the other side. Now you can ask people what problem, what complaint they have, or pain, or cysts, or, or any part, you can work on it. You know. Remember, the more you work, the more you feel confidence. If you use your hand, move around the person, like you're checking an aura. That means checking the, the heater. It's very simple. If you shake your hand loose, you put it on it. Okay. Now, first thing you check the aura, even or not. Even or not. Sometimes you feel here a hole. You feel like uh, when you hold the even, even aura, it's just like something pushed against you, right? When you move to one place, it's no a hole or chi. Your hand actually sinking down. Because there are no aura come out and supporting you. You feel it. It's a hole. And that area is a problem. Okay? Now, you will feel also hot ankle. Hot ankle. It's, uh, you extend your, your, your feeling. Because the aura is very subtle. Okay? If you turn on the heater, it's very strong. You put on the hand on the side. Or the heater is turned on, right? If you, turn, if you go to a, a, a big piece of ice, you put your hand on the ice, what do you feel? Cold. That's it. Now, what you're doing here now, you are, the aura is 10 times lesser, so it's more subtle. So if you put your hand, relax, calm, relax, feel it, you feel it. But when your mind are too busy, you cannot feel the difference. And the hot, cold, whole, and itchy. Sometimes you get there and you start to feel itchy in your palm. And some of the wet energy, you feel it, put it there, it feels very wet. Sometimes you feel it, you have sweat in your palm. And that is very wet and cold energy, sick energy.